For your money now in this age of cutting the cord, you may have found that canceling cable isn't always easy or cheap. Cable providers often make you pay an extra fee, and that's if you want to cancel your service early. But as CBS4 Zach Myers explains, the government is now working to stop that. Well, lately there's been a lot of pushback on so-called junk fees or extra fees that you get slapped with when it's too late to do anything about it. Well, the Federal Trade Commission says cable companies need to cool it. The problem is in the fine print. For example, according to BillSmart.com, the early termination fee for Xfinity Cable is $110 to get out of a 12-month contract, $230 if you want out of a two-year contract, and the only ways to get out of the fee is to be in the military or to die. After getting complaints for years on this, the FTC has voted in favor of a proposed rule that would prohibit cable companies from charging early termination fees. However, cable companies are not going quietly on this one. The FTC is facing serious resistance and millions of dollars in lobbying against it. And that's getting strong response from consumer watchdogs like Liz Zelnick at Accountable.us. She said CEOs chasing profits would rather make excuses for junk fees than consider it's a big reason why so many of their customers are cutting the cord, she said. Americans should have the power to end services that they don't want without being price gouged with hundreds of dollars in termination junk fees. However, putting a stop to this will require making changes to that fine print of cable contracts. As of now, the fees are written into those contracts and there's not much getting around it. If you call to complain or call the company out on social media, it's possible that you might catch a break on the fee, but there's no guarantee legally. So it will be interesting to see this fight unfold in Washington as the White House is targeting junk fees in several different industries, including cable. Whether that fine print will ever go away remains to be seen. For CBS 4 News, I'm Zach Myers.